<laughs> Say loud. Lick and Rick Vegan Camp, the 1st of June 2023. Today was a special day because we will have the first uh, Thai person coming and uh, helping out and learning about how um, a vegan lifestyle uh, can be like in a garden. A lot of mangoes still on the trees and they are dropping. I, I feel like when they're dropping, they're a little if we don't eat them right when they drop, they might be a little bit overripe. So maybe we should start uh, <laughs> some of them. It's a bit hard with these mangoes because they don't turn yellow when they're ripe. So they, they tree drop while they're green. And also we have a lot of Nomai, the bamboo shoots. Fabian has been really good at uh, clearing them, so it's easy to find them and cut them and eat them. And they are very tasty. And also there's a lime tree behind me. They are coming really well. And also there are, we have multiple lime trees. So, so I think Lek took uh, some limes from the garden already. Yeah, yesterday she took some. Yeah. And if you like jackfruit, there's a ton of jackfruit around. Here and there and everywhere. So mm, Nobody's eating it. <laughs> I eat it sometimes. Mm. We have strange plants with strange flowers and nobody knows what it is besides Pilek. Yesterday I came back from a small vacation and I was really missing the garden and I was thinking, okay, let's see if we can um, get some of the asparagus to come out. And Lex said that uh, Asparagus might be too old, we need to plant new ones. But I'm not sure about it regarding asparagus, so we need to check that out. If you know anything about asparagus, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, we have a very dry rainy season, even though it has rained and the plants are like reviving. It seems like it's pretty dry and it might be too dry for the asparagus. So if we want asparagus, I need to make the sprinkler system again that we had last time. Pilek Tamadai. Konya. Oh, yeah. She's, uh, She's taking, taking out the wheat. It's good when we take before they had uh, flour, they get flour. If they had flour and seed, they we spread out. More. That is not good. Katom is eating the weeds also. Katom. She is helping out. Katom. <laughs> Thank you, Katom. And the neighboring field has been plowed. And the air quality is very nice. And when you have like a leaf pile from the temple and you see mushrooms growing, it probably means it's uh, some healthy activity because the fungi is uh, making a, a net and spreading out and there is some bioactivity in it. So it's uh, a sign of health normally. I planted this uh, special mango. I don't know the name of the type. Oh, mango. But it's a, like a big one, and I planted this one with my mother, and it's still alive. If you can take a mango and slightly like rotate it like this, if you rotate it like this and it just snaps, it probably is ripe. Like this one. Yeah, like this, or like this one. I just, I just, did oh. like this and it snapped. Yeah. So if we could go around and just gently snap it. Snap it, then it's probably good to go. Uh -huh. Dog my will turn yellow on the in the bottom, uh -huh. and they actually we can until they're completely yellow and pick them then because they are or, or before when they turn depends on how you like them because they will still be firm for a long time. Yeah. When the first rains start to come, and there's actually one day during. May, that is like planting day, it's a holiday in Thailand. And this day, it's a, they say in Thailand it's a good day to plant things. So I think the day or the day after we planted uh, these beans, which will provide us with nice beans and bean shoots around November. Oh. And these were also planted, my mother, I was digging the hole and my mother was planting them. So thank you mother for helping out. The thing is that if you're it's best to wait for the rains to come, so the soil is um, 
wet when you plant them. The whole row here is with uh, beans. beans. This is a red Cavendish and when it looks like this it's uh, not healthy. There are probably some insects attacking it. So this needs to go. Uh, why the, the, the gluai they, they break like this is because maybe because if it's too dry then the, the, the trunk or the stem of the, of the banana will get too dry and won't have any energy anymore. So he cannot hold the weight of the leaves and the, and the fruit. So they will just drop like this. When the rain hits and after you, when you break these uh, chaya, the Mexican spinach, you will have a nice ground cover and you can see that these guys just pop out again. They're just fresh shoots and ready to eat. I mean, it's not, you need to steam them or boil them first or cook them in some kind of cool way or dry them so the cyanide goes away. Right now people in Thailand are a little bit scared of things that contain cyanide because they have this infamous uh, killer woman who uh, gives people cyanide pills and kills them. She's uh, behind bars now or something but it's just in people's minds and heads. This is our newest member of the family, Kluang Datya Mai. Let's see if we will accept him or not. Normally we don't have visitors from Thailand, but today we actually... We are in Thailand, we don't normally don't have visitors from Thailand, and today we have a visitor called Jay, like Gin Jay. Gin Jay means to eat vegan, or like... Gin Jay normally is uh, no garlic, but, uh, but you eat garlic, right? Yeah, vegan sure. too. A vegan too. Yeah. He's vegan. He's different. He's vegan. Mm -hmm. So where does the uh, J name come from? Why are you called J? Just, just J. Yeah. <laughs> just easy. 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 But but have you been is this your uh, nickname uh, all your life or? Yeah, ni just nickname. My friend called. Oh okay. Cool. Yeah. So welcome, and I hope you have a good stay here at uh, Lekking Greg Vegan Camp. <laughs>